All right, sorry for the delay there. Uh, you guys probably didn't realize it, but I've been gone for a little bit. We had just finished figuring out the mass moment of inertia of the rectangle, but now we have to think about something that we hadn't thought of before, which is that that rectangle is hanging out off of the center line of this disk. So the mass moment of inertia that we calculated is through the center point of the rectangle, through its center of gravity. But the rectangle is actually rotating with the center here. So we need to use something called the parallel axis theorem, which was mentioned in class, to compensate for the fact that this distance is not where this piece of mass is going to be rotating. Just to go ahead and figure this out, start figuring it out, we know that the disk itself has a radius of 0 0.3 meters, and we know that each of these blades is one meter square. So the distance from the center of rotation to the center of the disk is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5 meters, or a total of 0 0.8 meters. The parallel axis theorem states that the mass moment of inertia of this object is equal to the mass moment of inertia of the object at its center of gravity, plus the mass of the object times the squared radius from the center of gravity of the mass of the object back to the center of rotation. So in this case, for each of the blades, the adjusted mass moment of inertia will be 0 0.83 kilogram meters squared plus this adjustment term, 10 kilograms for the mass of each blade times 0 0.8 meters squared. So the adjusted mass moment of inertia for each blade would be 0.83, 10, 0.8 squared, multiply it, add it, a total of 7.23 kilogram meters squared. So each of those blades goes from a mass moment of inertia of 0 0.83 kilogram meters squared to 7.23, just from the fact of moving it from center of rotation at the center of the blade <clears throat> to a center of rotation tenths of a meter away. So it's quite a large number that changes. Now, last thing we want to get for the mass moment of inertia is for the assembly. Mass moment of inertia are additive. So the I for the assembly is going to be equal to the mass moment of inertia of the disk plus two times the mass moment of inertia of the blades. One for each blade. So our total will be 4.05, I'll calculate it up here, plus 2 times 7.23, a total mass moment of inertia of 18.51 kilogram meter squared. All right, now I'm going to swap video files and change sheets of paper because we're right at the end, so just a very quick stop.